Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Upper Deck Marvel Anime. Looks like Upper Deck presents a brand new Marvel trading card set inspired by Japanese pop culture and art. That's pretty cool. So let's check it out. This is a one box random pack break number one. As you can see by my excellent paint skills here uh, that uh, the next one is already in the store. So here's how we're going to do it. We only sold two spots. So each customer that buys and gets eight packs from the box that, we've, that we select. So there's 16 packs per box. So we're, just open, we're gonna select a box from a fresh case, number the packs, randomize names, randomize numbers, and whatever uh, packs you get is what we'll open for you. So let's, let's figure out what's gonna happen here. Big thanks to these two people right here. There's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there'll be 16 on this list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Get the pack numbers right here. One through 16. And then we'll randomize names, randomize pack number. Oh, I already had copied it there. And then we'll uh, we'll match you up. We'll see what happens. Now first, let's, uh, let's pop the box open and then we'll sticker the packs right here. So there it is. It says 2020 Marvel Anime. This must be it. Got the World Series Game 1. 2020 World Series Game 1 on in the background. Scoreless in the top of the fourth inning. Both pitchers playing... Both pitchers pitching pretty well. Yeah, Rick, I'm not... Yeah, I think this should be fun too. So let, let's, see, let's see what we got. All right. All right, so there's eight boxes, which I've numbered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's just go to random.org. This, this will just be a little bit easier this way. Let's just generate a number between one and eight. All right, right there you can see, and let's, two, box two is what we're gonna do. We'll save the rest for another another uh, set. Of, if you buy two spots, it'd be a personal box. There'd be no randomizing we'd have to do in case you want to get a whole box to yourself. There we go. Featuring all new original base set and thematic insert art. That's pretty cool. One premium insert or parallel per pack. That's kind of what we're looking for. Look for foil parallels and artist autographed cards. Looks like we've got miniature cards and stuff too. Pretty cool. All right. Let's pop this up. So we're just going to label these really quick. Bit of a process here. If you're watching this on replay, you can always fast forward through this part. If you're watching live, you're stuck with me. Watch, stuck with me, stickering packs right here. It's cleaner than if we use the sharpie. Then the sharpie smear gets all over the place. It's a lot nicer this way. All right, now let's get to the randomizing. Let's roll and randomize names and number pack numbers. Rick's here. You're stuck, Rick, watching me do that. Three and a five, eight times for each list. There you go. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, Rick down to Rick. Three and a five, eight times for the pack numbers. Seven and eighth and final time. After eight, we've got pack 12 down to five. All right, so there you go. Rick with 12, six. Here, let's do it this way. Right, so Rick with 12. Let's, let's try this right here. All right, Rick with 12, six, 16, seven, two, eight, 10, and five. Brenton, you have the rest. You have 15, three, 14, one, four, 11, nine, and 13. So let's order these uh, numer uh, numerically. Let's order these by name, by first name right here. And since Rick is live in the chat and you bought the spot first, I'm gonna do your packs first. And then Brenton will, you will do your packs afterwards. So Rick 12, 6, 16. 12, 6, 16, 7, 2, 8, 7, 2, 8, 10, and 5, 10, and 5. So, from bottom to top, 5, 10, 8. 5, 10, 8. 2, 7, 16. 2, 7, 16. And then should be 6 and 12. There it is, 6 and 12. And then, Brenton, you have the rest right there. All right, Rick, good luck. These packs are hard to rip. Oh yeah, they're, they're a little bit weird. Oh, come on, Pax. favorite here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, let's roll. Let's see how many of these characters I can I can get. Well, no, Hulk we know. That's pretty cool. And we've got this Spider-Man right here on a, on a sort of canvas design, which is pretty cool. I'm assuming these are just the the base cards. The, the, oh, there's the Winter Soldier. That's pretty cool. And Quicksilver. We've got, I don't know who the, oh, Moon, is this Moon Knight? Is that the name of the character right there? There you go, that acetate design. Yes, Vet Commons will ship in this. Rick. These are kind of, kind of cool designs here. Let's see what we got here. Let's go, Bellinger. Woo! Two run jack.
guess Bellinger's shoulder's okay, folks. I, I kind of love these minis already. Look at that. <laughs> Rick, I want to collect, like, a whole set of these minis. That's Hawkeye. <laughs> I guess there's 65 of them you can collect. Oh, and an autograph. 122 out of 120 gold ink auto on Doctor Strange. I'm assuming that's the the artist. An autograph by Peach Momoko, who I think did the base set design. That's pretty cool. Got that cool pattern here. Sentry. Does not this one doesn't look like it's numbered, but nice. Curry saying those autos are one per box. Nice. Guess I'll just top load these while I'm at it too. There's the Spider-Man on the canvas, which is also another cool looking set. That I would try to build, and there's the acetate. All right, a couple more packs for you. Oh, this is oh, capsule characters. So there you go. I guess I'll leave this to you to open this or not, Rick. Yeah, it's a rip card, basically. I guess one of these minis could be inside. There's Magneto. We've got another insert here, She-Hulk. There's uh, Gambit and She-Hulk again. All right, well, there you go. Rick, that's your stack right there. That was random pack number one. So we'll get that to two ends. There you go, two ends. They know who you are. All right, the shipping team knows. Okay, Brenton Young, thanks for your patience. Let's pop yours open. Let's see what we got. You're welcome, Rick. I think that was a pretty decent haul. The autograph, some fun inserts. I don't know what the values of these are on the second secondary market, but I know Marvel usually does pretty well. Packs are a nightmare, though, as Curtis said. What are they going to do? The uh, what are they going to do? A Gambit movie? I feel like he's a pretty popular character, right? From the X Men world, I feel like there's there's a standalone movie that they've attempted to do for 
ages. They just haven't, haven't done it yet. I thought they had something in production. I guess not. There's some thunderbolts here. You don't think it'll happen, Curtis? Knows it. With Disney, it won't happen? There's Dagger. Kind of like that pattern there. Safe. I haven't seen, we haven't seen this pattern yet. It's a cool Captain Marvel card right there. There's another acetate here. I ran out of top loaders, Brendan. I'm gonna to top load all of those after I finish this video. Sorry. I'm the juggernaut. There he is, the juggernaut. That's pretty cool. Mechanized Spider-Man? Hey, he'd be unstoppable. Who's gonna beat this guy? Nobody. Wolverine. There's Colossus. Black Panther. Foil pattern is cool. Who? I've never heard of Piper. He's just a Piper? In the Marvel world? R.I.P. Chadwick. There's strong guy. A couple other cards right here too. And there you go, Brenton. Piper has a TV series coming? Wow. I feel like I feel like I could just write a Marvel series from some random character now. Stay tuned for that. Joe Jaspi writes Marvel. Brenton and Rick, thank you very much for getting into the action. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got more in the store. If you buy both the spots, you have a personal box. Check it out on jaspiescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.